tis the season to be podcasting. Stay inside with a warm beverage and a hot microphone. If you're interested, Spotify can help you out. They've got a platform that lets you make one, distribute it, and earn money all in one place for free. It's called Spotify for Podcasters, and here's how it works. Spotify for Podcasters lets you record and edit podcasts right from your phone or computer. So you've already got the equipment necessary to start recording today. Then you can distribute your podcast to Spotify, Apple, Google, and everywhere else podcasts are heard. Video podcasts are also available on Spotify. And when you want to take conversations with your fans to the next level, Q&A and polls are an excellent way to get them talking. With Spotify for Podcasters, you can earn money in a variety of ways, including ads and podcast subscriptions. Best of all, it's completely free. I switched dorky, geeky, nerdy over to Spotify for Podcasters, and I haven't regretted it. The analytics are fantastic, and the new tools for hosting and updating the feed are way more than I could do self-hosting. Now, it's your turn. Head to podcasters.spotify.com and read all about it. Then, let me know what you're podcasting all about. From the deep south to the far north, or at least as far north as the contiguous United States goes. Hey all, this is episode 165 of the Dorky, Geeky, Nerdy Trivia Podcast. I'm your host, Brian Rollins, and this week we're featuring the great state of Maine. Are you ready for three rounds of ten questions each? Well, you better be, because we're getting started right now. The Dorky Round Number one. What best-selling horror writer was born in Maine in 1947? Stephen King Number 2. The Treaty of Paris in 1763 gave control of Maine over to the English from what other empire? the French. Number three, what author of The Courtship of Miles Standish was born in Portland, Maine in 1807? Henry Wadsworth Longfellow. Number four, what actress from the Twilight movies, Up in the Air, and Pitch Perfect was born in Maine in 1985. Anna Kendrick Number 5. Maine is home to only one national park. Which one? Acadia National Park. Number six. How many U.S. states border Maine? Just one, New Hampshire. In fact, Maine is the only state to share a single U.S. border. Number seven, what is the state animal of Maine? The moose. Number eight, Maine has over 60 of what coastal structures? The oldest is in Cape Elizabeth.
Lighthouses. Number nine. Mainers burned a shipment of British tea one year after what Massachusetts event? The Boston Tea Party. Number ten. What Charlotte's Web and Elements of Style author is buried in Brooklyn, Maine? E. B. White. The Geeky Round. Number one. What Canadian province is east of Maine? New Brunswick. Number two. What is the capital of Maine? Augusta. Number three. Former President George Bush had his summer home in what Maine town? Kennebunkport. Number four, Freeport is home to what outdoor clothing company? LL Bean. Number five, what Italian navigator led the English to land in Maine in 1607? John Cabot. The settlement failed due to the harsh winters. Number six. What actor was immortalized to Gen Xers with a fist pump at the end of The Breakfast Club? That'd be Maine native Judd Nelson. Number seven, born in Bar Harbor, Maine, who was Gerald Ford's vice president? Nelson Rockefeller. Number eight, we already talked about New Brunswick, but Maine borders what other Canadian province? Quebec. Number nine. When the United States was first formed, Maine was part of what state? Massachusetts. Number ten. Maine became its own state as part of what agreement? The Missouri Compromise. The Nerdy Round. Number one. At the age of fifteen, Chester Greenwood, a resident of Maine, patented what cold weather gear in 1877? Earmuffs. Number two. What city is the easternmost point in the United States? Eastport, Maine. Number three. Before Augusta, what was the temporary capital of Maine?
Portland. Number four, in order of admission to the United States, where does Maine rank among other states? Despite being on the East Coast, Maine is the 23rd state. It was admitted in 1820. Number five, Disney's Pete's Dragon takes place in what Maine fishing village? Passamaquoddy. No town by that name actually exists. However, the name was borrowed from one of the local tribes in Maine. Number six, what former governor of Maine became Abraham Lincoln's first vice president? Hannibal Hamlin. He was also the first Republican to hold that office. Number seven, what director of over 100 films, including The Quiet Man and The Grapes of Wrath, was born in Cape Elizabeth? John Ford. Number eight, what board game magnate and publisher was born in Vienna, Maine, in 1836? Milton Bradley. Number nine, what word appears at the top of the seal of Maine on its flag? Dirigo. It's the state motto and means I direct. Number 10. The oldest incorporated city in the U.S. is located where? York, Maine. It was incorporated in 1642. And we're back. Cold? Yeah, it gets a little bit nippy up here in Maine. It's one of the states on my to-visit list. It looks beautiful and very different for a kid who grew up in the western U.S. We'll be back again next week with 30 more trivia questions and their corresponding answers. Here's a clue. Which U.S. state is the only one to be an independent republic? It's a big one, so be back here next Wednesday. If you need more fun with trivia, please visit the show's website, dorkygeekynerdy.com. You'll find quizzes and our podcast store. Get a dorky, geeky, nerdy shirt, mug, or whatever. This has been episode 165 of the Dorky, Geeky, Nerdy Trivia Podcast. The music was provided by Jason Shaw at audionautics.com. I'm your host, Brian Rollins. You can find me at thevoicesinmyhead.com. Thanks for listening.